hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? Big Porky here, the voice of hardcore boxing. And I hope you've subscribed as well or I'll be coming to pay you a visit. <laughs> When you're gonna do it, hey? We're not talking questions like what your usual people are asking, like Rob Tebbett or Coogan Cassis. We're talking real boxing questions. So when you're gonna come and do it, Eddie? You've got my email. I'm gonna send you my new phone number today. Give me a ring, Eddie. Don't you be a bottle job. Hardcore boxing fans out there, how you doing? It's Big P here, and still, yeah, you know, you know I'm the voice of hardcore boxing. We say what nobody else wants to say, or don't say. Now, I've just been watching an IFL interview with Coogan Cassius, the legendary YouTuber, who's sponsored by MTK. Uh, ben Davidson, the legendary trainer, who's MTK's uh, head trainer, is he, or main trainer? Did he work out Dubai or Marbella or something? So he's an MTK man, and Billy Joe Sauna's an MTK fighter. I've just watched them do an interview with Coogan, and... Billy looks like he's down in dumps in Fiorentura. He looks like he wants to come home to me. He's saying he's uh, on about retiring if uh, the MTK uh, guy that's linked to him, is it Daniel Kinahan? Billy's saying that if he can't be involved in boxing, Billy don't want to be in boxing. But uh, this is how I look at it, right? Billy Joe Son has beat Andy Lee in a great fight. Since then, five years ago, in 60 months, Billy's had six fights. That's a fight every 10 months, right? So in five years, he's had a fight every 10 months. So he's virtually got one foot in retirement anyway. So maybe this could be end of Billy Joe Saunders, which I think is a shame because, and I always stand by my word, Billy Joe Saunders on his day at middleweight is the best middleweight in world boxing he beats Golovkin now he beats Canelo now that's at 160 pounds Golovkin's finished in he now and Billy's waited it out with him and he but he's not got that far and the Canelo he's he's ended up going and fighting at 175 hasn't he so Billy's missed them two big paydays and um, instead he's since he beat Andy Lee he's for Akavov, Munro, Lemieux, Adamo, Isufi and Kosares. So there were a lot of hot air spoke, weren't there? Or I don't know, I mean I go through Billy's record. Right, twenty nine and 0, 14 by way of He don't get hit, does he? He doesn't get hit. Now, I look at his record. He's won a Southern Area against Gary Bolden. He won a Commonwealth that were vacant against Tony Hill. He had five def six defences of his Commonwealth. Six defences. Uh, he won a British that were vacant against Nick Blackwell. He retained it against Matthew Wall. He retained it against John Ryder. And I think he won it outright against Chris Eubank. So, also in there, he's won a vacant European. So, vacant Commonwealth. 
vacant British, vacant European, but he won a southern area. Now, so he's done everything asked of him, hasn't he, Billy? He's done everything asked of him. And he's won Andy, and he beat Andy Lee for WBO middleweight title in a good fight. Now, this is how I look at it. He's not got a top win on his record, has he? Now, for a kid who were tipped to win gold at the Olympics, because he won everything else, didn't he, as an amateur? I mean, if you back up and look at Billy's career, Commonwealth Championships gold medal 2007 welterweight, 2008 European Championships gold medal, Stanzar Cup Bulgaria 2008 gold medal, 2007 European Juniors gold medal. So, <laughs> Billy's basically won everything. He doesn't really get beat, does he? He's got a fantastic record, but I look at his professional record and I think, I don't know, I just look at it, right? He beat Andy Lee. Since he beat Andy Lee for Akavov, that could have gone other way, couldn't it? Willie Monroe went 12 rounds with Willie Monroe first defence second defence David Lemieux he took him to school Charles Adamo 180 pound in that fight so where's the extra 20 pound come from I don't know he couldn't take that 20 pound off so what did he do he took 12 pound off and fought for the super middleweight belt which Frank Warren delivered against some guy who nobody knew a shocking shocking stinker of a fight and then he's then he's gone and fought on an Eddie Earn show, fought Corsarus, and he stopped him in the 11th round. And if that is it for Billy Joe Saunders' career, I just think that I feel short chains from a man who's got skills to burn. And, and I think when Billy looks back on his career, if he retires now, he'll think, God, glass, glass is half empty, isn't it? Really, but when I went to an era at middleweight where there didn't really anybody for him to fight unless it's Golovkin and Canelo, Canelo stepped up and Golovkin's got old. So I, I just look at it and I, I feel like I just said it. I feel shortchanged. I think it's a shame. I think after the Andy Lee fight, 2015 December. I mean, it's nearly five years, isn't it? So, sort of five years this December. If Billy don't fight up to this December, it's five years, isn't it? So we're getting on for on for uh, five years, aren't we? It's not sixty months, is it? I got it wrong. Sorry, it's four and a half year. You're not fought in four and a half year. 16, 18, 19, 4 and a half year had a he's, he's had 6 fights in 4 and a half year not 5 year but it's still not a lot is it, it it's 9 point a fight every 9 and a half month or something like that you have to work it out but point I want to make is this right? point I want to make is this Billy Joe Saunders is a fantastic talent a fantastic talent do you know what I mean? Fantastic. It's a fight every nine months. Billy's fought every nine months. Since he beat Andy Lee, he's been out on average every nine months. Right? Not ten months, nine months. Now, point I want to make is this. For a man of his talents, Billy should be out every four months. Putting money in the bank and entertaining fans. But when you're out every nine months, you're not going to have a following. And y your promoter can't do anything with you. How can Frank Warren promote somebody that's out every nine months? How can you do that? You're going out, carrying off and getting yourself into trouble and beef and Twitter nonsense and this and that and saying controversial things. It's all backfired, hasn't it? And I think it's all come on to roost because he's out there now in another country and he looks to me like he's thinking, what am I doing here? What is he doing out there? He's got a, a, a young a lad who's younger than him training him. And Billy Billy's in charge of that relationship, and he's already left him, left him in an airport, didn't he? Or I mean, I know it's only messing about in it, but would he have done that to Jimmy Tibbs?
ringing airport up saying these have got a virus or something no they wouldn't have done so the point i want to make is where does he go from here now where does he go i don't know but i think it's a shame but like i said i look at his career here and i think god you know you, you could say andy lee and lemieux are good wins they're they're a world champion and a former world champion but where's his other where's his other top wins which is an elite win on there andy lee's not elite lemieux's not elite chris eubank's not elite john Ryder's not elite there is top four wins he's not got an elite level win for a man of his skills he's got skills to burn he would have given canelo and golovkin nightmares at 160 pound at 5 foot 11 with a 70 inch reach he's not going to do anything at super middle is he against Canelo so maybe that might be it for Billy maybe he might need to st step out of game for a year he looks like he's fallen out of love with the game step away for a year he's, he's only 31 in August come back when he's 32 and landscape might have changed but for at the moment it looks to me like he's not enjoying it and it's like Mick Whale said to me the other day if, if you're coming to the gym and you're not enjoying it just go home and come back another day that's what Mick says to people because not, not every fighter can be on it every day but Billy looks to me like he's had enough. He looks to me like he's had enough. And he looks like he's piled a bit of weight on. And, and you know, maybe he might be getting the wrong advice. So whoever's talked him into going out there, if he's not in the right frame of mind, I don't know. He, he's taking wrong advice off people. And he needs to go home, be, be with his family, and have, have a good think and have a good look at himself and ask himself if he wants to be 37 year old saying, coulda, woulda, shoulda. Don't leave no stone unturn, unturned, Billy. Get out of the game. Go back to Jimmy Tibbs and Mark Tibbs and start again. Go back to the beginning. That's what you need to do. Go back to the beginning and start again. All right? So, peace out. Keep on trucking. Keep supporting boxing. Shout out to Lacoste and Watchfinder. Peace out. <laughs> you like that one didn't you right first of all i just want to say thank you very much for liking and subscribing it means a lot to me uh, because we're on this journey together aren't we so anybody got any ideas for the channel fire them over to me porkycorner at mail.com all right shout out to innovation alloys and south yorkshire packaging all right don't forget to subscribe keep on trucking <laughs> <laughs>